It's hard for me to think that I could like look more goth today between all the skulls I have around and my Nightmare Before Christmas mug. So like, fuck it up, I guess. Hi friends! Um, so, here we are again after another hiatus that I didn't mean to take uh, and an explanation as to my coffee makers being rude and an explanation as to why. So I try to be pretty transparent here. Uh, we have nothing to hide um, and it really is that I just hit like a massive depressive episode. So like started to hit a little bit of a stride. I was uploading twice a week. That was cool. Um, and then just like slid completely off of the rails. And you know what? That shit happens. That's okay. Whatever. Um, I would prefer for that to not happen again. Um, luckily I'm seeing my psychiatrist today. So we're going to see about making sure everything's under control. Um, I'm definitely out of the weeds in that episode, but I'm still feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of dissociation, so it's still a long road ahead. Um, so I'm going to be trying to upload once a week right now, um, trying to just keep that fairly consistent, trying to get more involved in YouTube community stuff in general, um, but you know, also trying to take care of myself. I did start a new job. So I'm at Equinox right now. Um, I'm aiming to be a full-time personal trainer there by the fall, um, when I will hopefully be able to start taking some classes again. I'm kind of hoping to maybe take one class at like the community college I got started at over the summer. I think that that might be a good option to continue building credits, but we'll see what happens and we'll see what BU takes. Um, BU is notoriously harsh, specifically the health sciences school that I'm part of, uh, notoriously harsh for n on like credits coming from other schools. So like, that's a thing. Um, you know, aside from that, trying to live life, uh, still trying to function. Um, and I'm aiming to do my first figure competition in the fall as well. So there's a lot of shit coming up, but I find that the more like laser focused I am, the easier it is to keep my mood up. Um, I'm thinking that next week's video is going to be talking about gender language in the fitness industry. Uh, those of us who fall on a, the gender spectrum outside of the um, only two genders, uh, we have a hard time with a lot of the language around fitness and a lot of the expectations around fitness. So I kind of want to start talking about the language that we need to start approaching fitness as professionals to make it inclusive for everyone. Um, following that, I want to do a fat-friendly fitness video as well and how we as professionals can work towards being body positive while still being health conscious and being fat-friendly so um, populations feel like they can come to us and not have their primary goal be weight loss. Um, I've already had to have that conversation with a couple of coworkers, and it seems like people are a little bit open to that. Um, but we continue on. Uh, so, you know, thanks for sticking with me so far. I super appreciate every single one of you, all five people that watch my videos. Um, and, you know, Beaker and I will be around a little bit more now that things are picking up a little bit. Uh, so, like, subscribe. Um, if you have ideas for things that you want to see moving forward, please let me know. This can be uh, fitness inclusive, this could be performance, um, really anything. I'm open to doing whatever. Um, just drop me a line, uh, comment, follow me on Instagram, uh, have a good time, enjoy the fucking spring ass weather that's coming, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Thanks!